every trust account your agency has needs to be configured for the tenant download. To configure an account, go to Configuration, Company and Trust Details. In the Tenant Download section, click the Edit Pencil. A list of supported files for your trust account display. Select the files which you plan to upload by ticking the box. If you are unsure which file formats are available to you, please contact your bank or third party payment provider for assistance. You will also find information on bank file formats in the Property Tree Knowledge Base under Supported Financial Institution Files. Select a payment method if the drop down appears. The drop down only displays if you receive bank files from BPAY or a third party payment provider. You can also set clearance days if you use the method of payment provider. If you select direct deposit, no clearance days are required. Making the right selection will ensure that you are not paying out funds before you receive them in your bank account. Next, select the allocation rules that are best for your business. For residential funds received, choose for property tree to either allocate only exact rent amounts or allocate all amounts to rent. Select Allocate Exact Rent Amounts if you would like Property Tree to match exact amounts of rent. There is also a selection to match only a single rent amount. Property Tree is automatically set to receipt invoices as well as rent and bond, so only select the Allocate All Amounts to Rent if you do not invoice your tenants and you won't be receiving their bonds. I will select Allocate Exact Amounts and choose the Bond option. So what does this all mean? If you select Allocate Exact Amounts and Match and Allocate Tenants Bond, then Property Tree determines how it receipts according to these rules. If the tenant is a prospect, then all received funds get receipted to the tenants held for tenancy funds. For active tenants, if the tenants bond hasn't yet been receipted, and Property Tree receives exactly the total amount as the outstanding bond, then those funds are allocated to the tenant's bond. If you don't want Property Tree to match and receipt tenant's bonds, don't select that option in configuration. Next, Property Tree will look to match the tenant's rent. Property Tree looks for multiples of the tenant's rent up to four rent periods or the rent to vacate amount. Lastly, Property Tree looks to match and receipt to outstanding invoice amounts. It will look to match to one invoice or the total of all outstanding invoices. If there are multiple invoices for the same amount, it will receipt to the oldest invoice. It will not look to match a combination of invoices. When match and allocate only single exact rent period amounts is selected, then only a single rent period amount will be matched. If you choose Allocate All Amounts to Rent, then the total amount of funds will be allocated to rent. And for your commercial rent and outstanding invoices, the oldest outstanding rent outgoings invoice will be matched and manual invoices will also be matched. Property Tree will look to match to one invoice or the total of all outstanding invoices. If there are multiple invoices for the same amount, it will receipt to the oldest invoice and it will not look to match a combination of invoices. And you do have the option for Property Tree to automatically receipt the bond as well.